All right. Hello. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, I'm going to, what am I going to do today? Let's see. I'm going to do a little recap real quick just about um, Super Saturday because it was super awesome. Uh, we had a pretty good turnout um, here locally. I think we had about 30, I don't say about 30 coaches um, that came to the Super Saturday um, here in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin. Um, so, I don't know, it was, it was a great event. Um, Melissa uh, talked a little bit. Um, another Melissa from our, our upline team, basically, from Team Tenacious also talked talked about their stories, uh, which was really awesome. Actually, it was, uh, I think a lot of people were very engaged in the stories that they were telling. And, um, it was just, it was a really good all around, you know, meeting basically. I got a lot of good feedback from the coaches. I even got, I got feedback like days later from coaches telling me how awesome it was. So good job, everybody <laughs> that helped out with that. Um, cause it, 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 it took some work and, um, yeah, good event overall. So it looks like the next Super Saturday is going to be January 9th. Um, I plan on hosting another one again. So if you can make it, mark your calendars now, then you won't have any excuses why you can't come. That's all. January 9th. Mark it down. So remember, Super Saturdays are nice events uh, for multiple reasons. One, it's going to you get to meet people live. You know, it's fun to talk to you on Zoom chats, but it's also cool to meet in person and, and talk in what I would say real life <laughs> face to face um, is always nice. It's a, it's a, it's like a good way to get the team together. Really. Um, it's also an, another opportunity to talk with other coaches from other teams. Um, a lot of idea sharing. Um, I know I talked to some coaches that shared some things with me that their upline is doing so it's like cross team kind of stuff too. So um, I'm looking to kind of get some possible uh, different training material from them that hopefully hopefully we can implement on our team as well if it's something that I think is useful. Um, so a lot of opportunity there too. Um, there's also um, an opportunity for you to bring prospects to the meeting. And by that, it's people that are interested. So remember, we're trying to make your lives a little bit easier. You know, we have the Coach Sneak Peek group that maybe some of you were participants in. Um, so you kind of know how that's run. So we run that every month so that you guys have an opportunity to bring your prospects in. So it kind of takes some of the burden, some of the pressure off of you um, trying to explain the opportunity to other people. So you can kind of put that in our hands. Um, you know, some of the leaders who have been doing this for a little bit longer until you feel more comfortable, um, you know, doing, doing it yourself. So that's the idea of the sneak peek and the, um, you know, the Super Saturday is another good opportunity to bring people in so they can learn more about Beachbody, learn more about coaching, um, meet some of the other coaches on the team as well. Um, so just people that they, you know, will be working with if they become coaches. So all of that is good stuff. So remember that as Super Saturday draws closer, that it is another good opportunity for you to bring people who are interested in coaching to the event as well. Cool. Oh. January 9th, write it down. Seriously, write it down right now. I'm watching you. <laughs> My calendar doesn't go there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, what was funny was I tried to uh, get the, like, go up to the front desk and get the event already scheduled at the Y, and they're like, our calendar doesn't go out that far. I'm Did like, you really? Okay. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'll talk to you in November then. So we'll get it on there. We'll get it scheduled. No problem. But so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, yeah. So, yes. Time, um, out. time out. On Flag on a field. The video from Super Saturday is on the Coach Breaking News. They just updated it a little while ago. So if you missed it and you want to see it or you want to watch it again, it's up there. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's some good stuff on there. There's some good stuff on the video. Um, uh, hammer and chisel, um, hardcore, both are on there. So um, be sure to check that out if you haven't seen those yet. Both cool programs that are coming up, one in December and one early 2016. So 
Um, yeah. Thank you for the time out. <laughs> so what I'm going to talk about tonight is we're going to kind of go over um, ranks, rank advancement, and the cycle bonus. Okay. If you have any questions during the presentation, wave your hands, do something crazy so that I know that you have a question so that we can get them answered, okay? It's not always the easiest to understand the cycle bonus, but it's a very crucial part of the business and how you're going to earn money from your business, okay? The cycle bonus is all about residual income. For those of you that don't know what residual income is, I basically explain it as making money for nothing. Okay, so the higher your residual income is, the more income you're going to have from not necessarily working yourself, but from what your business is creating for you. One of the great parts about having your own business. Okay, so without further ado, I am going to go to my fancy whiteboard back here and I'm going to draw fabulous pictures for you on how this works. Before I start, the picture that I am drawing. Okay, you can see this same picture basically in a much prettier form in your coach online office. Okay, so if you go to your coach online office, you go under my business, hover over my downline and click on the graphical genealogy. Okay, my business, my downline, graphical genealogy. That's going to show you a graphical picture of what your downline business looks like. So as I talk through this, I'm going to kind of try to refer back to that so that you guys understand the visual representation that I'm drawing here and that you should also see in your office based on how your business looks. Okay. I'm just going to draw a sample business up here, but I'll explain how your business will look in relation to this with your graphical genealogy. So far, so good. Everything clear. Cool. All right. So here we go. So as always, it's not necessarily important that you can see my face, but that you can see everything that I'm drawing, okay? I'm gonna try to do both. I'm gonna, I like that you can see my face too. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna draw circles. All right, I'm gonna use me as an example, but everything is similar, like I said, across the board. Okay, here's a circle, here's a G. Is that big enough? Everybody can see that? Yes? No? Thumbs up. Good. Okay. So now in our business, that can be you or whoever. Okay. How it works. We have two legs. Okay. We have a left and a right. Based on where your coach places you in their downline business, one of your legs is your strong leg and one of your legs is your weak leg. Okay. This is kind of an important thing. So it's important that you ask your coach which one's your strong leg and which one's your weak leg so that they can tell you. For my example, I'm just going to make the right side the strong leg and the left side the weak leg, okay? And I'm going to note that, all right? So you have two legs here. Here's my strong leg. Here's my weak leg. Okay, so what does strong leg and weak leg mean, okay? Your strong leg is a leg that your upline is going to help you build. So by that, one of the cool parts about Beachbody and this type of structure, which is called a binary business structure, is basically your upline is going to help you build your strong leg, okay? So you share your strong leg with your upline. So think about it like this. Hopefully you can still see these. If not, I'm drawing little circles up this way, okay? Can you still see that? Kind of a little bit, okay? So say that this is my strong leg here. Um, my coach, whose name is Richard, is up here somewhere, okay? All these coaches in between, whenever you place a coach in the business, the coach always ends up in the bottom of the business organization. So in our example, this is the bottom because nobody else is there, okay? So if Richard was to place a coach in the strong leg, the leg that we share, that coach is going to pop up right here, okay? We're going to say, that's Tom, okay? So even though that coach is Richard's coach, he's underneath me, so he's also part of my business organization. Okay, so that's going to come into play when we start talking about the cycle bonus. I just want you guys to have kind of a general idea of what the strong leg means. It's a leg that's shared by the upline, so all the coaches above you that go all the way up here, anytime they place a coach into the strong leg, that winds up all the way down here, and you'll start seeing these coaches pop into your business organization, 
your business organization that you didn't personally bring into the business. Your weak leg is the complete opposite. Think about it as you're the top. There's nobody else above you, okay? So those little circles we drew over here, there isn't any over here, okay? Binary. So you're the top. We're going to help you build one leg. You're going to build the other leg kind of by yourself. You're going to build it with you and whatever coaches you place in that leg. So very similar, say I sign up a coach and I put them over in my left leg. This is going to be Ronald R. Okay. I bring Ronald into the business here. Now, whatever coach is Ronald signs and I sign and we both put in the left leg, we share this leg together. So this is Ronald's strong leg over here. This is Ronald's weak leg over here, okay? So he's gonna end up building this one by himself and I'm going to help him build this one, okay? So next when I sign my next coach, Patricia, She's gonna wind up right there. So now Ronald will see Patricia in his business down here, and I'm helping him build that leg. So we're building this leg kind of together. So it's kind of a little weird, but that's that's why I said it's really based on where your coach puts you. So in my example, you know, if I sign Sam over here, I'm telling Sam that his right leg is his strong leg because I'm going to help Sam build this side of his business and this side. He's going to build all by himself, okay? Think about it like you're building the outsides and they're building the insides, okay? So you're building the outsides of the V here, out here and out here, and they have to build the insides by themselves. I have a question. Yes. Why, okay, so why wouldn't you just put them all in one leg? <laughs> Confused. Good question. No, that's a, that's a valid question. Very good. Okay, that's really going to come into play when we talk about cycle bonus one, but also for rank advancement. Okay. So the way to rank advance is you have to place coaches in each leg, and you have to have certain things happen in each leg from your personally sponsored coaches in order to rank advance. So I'm going to show you that too. Okay. Great question, though. That's good. Nobody's ever asked that question. That's really good. Smart thinking. So, look, like, let me ask Melissa. So, where did you put me and your legs, Melissa? Hold on, I'm on mute. Okay, you are. Let me go look at my thingy right here. I had it up a second ago. I'll message you in the bottom. Keep going, Gav. Um, All right. Okay. I'll I'm, I'm just going to erase some of this. I just want you want to make sure that you guys understand the concept of strong leg versus weak leg. It really is based on where you place your coach. So like I said, whatever, I think I called this person Susie. If I sign Susie up, her, her right leg is her strong leg because that's the leg I'm helping her build. On the other hand, over here, when I sign Patricia up, I'm telling Patricia that her strong leg is actually her left leg and her weak leg is her right, okay? I'm helping her build the outside, she's building the inside, okay? So even though this one for my business is my weak leg, it's the coaches I place under the strong legs, I'm helping them build that leg, okay? Kind of weird, but just understand whatever leg that you're helping your coaches build, that one is gonna be their strong leg, the other one that they're building by themselves is their weak leg. Focus on that V, focus on this, this is you. You're helping your coaches build this outside part, the inside part, they build by themselves. Thumbs up, good to go so far? Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna erase some of this so we can talk a little bit about Emerald Rank, and then we're gonna talk about Cycle Bonus. Okay, here we go. All right, kind of going back to your question. To be an Emerald Coach, okay? Emerald Coach is the very first awesome step in Beachbody. A lot of things happen when you become an Emerald Coach, so it's really cool to become an Emerald Coach, okay? So first, when you have no coaches, you're just considered an active coach, okay? You're getting your 50 volume points every month. Does everybody know what volume points are? This is going to be important as we go forward, so I hope you do. If you don't, Volume points are what this business is based off of, okay? So we have two things. I'm just going to write this down real quick. PV, personal volume, okay? T, 
TV, teen volume. Okay. These are the two acronyms that we use, personal volume, team volume, okay? So, only a slight difference between the two. Personal volume, you get from whatever you order or your customers order through you, okay? Team volume is anything that's gonna happen under this dotted line right here. Your team volume is all of your coaches' personal volume. All right, think about it a little bit. I'm gonna draw some examples and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. These are just the two things that are gonna pop up. So for you to be an active coach, you need at least 50 personal volume every four weeks, basically, so every month. So 95% of Beachbody coaches get Shakeology every month, okay? Shakeology is worth 90 personal volume points. You only need 50, so as long as you're ordering Shakeology every month, you have well surpassed, and you will always be an active coach, which is the first rank in Beachbody. Rank number two, Emerald Coach. This is how you do it. Remember first that your rank is only based on coaches that you personally bring into the business. So remember like we were talking with your strong leg, weak leg, and I told you that your upline is going to help you build a leg? Those coaches don't count towards your rank, but they will help you when it comes to cycle bonus. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, this is all going to come together at the end here. So I'm like alluding, I'm like giving you up for shadowing almost what's going to happen here. So two coaches, this is crucial. You sign two coaches, you put one in your left, one in your right. That's how you become an Emerald coach. If you sign two coaches and you put both coaches into your right leg, what rank are you? Active because you don't have one in the left and one in the right, okay? Very crucial where you place them. So remember, wherever you place your first coach, the next one you're putting on the other side so you can become Emerald, okay? So you have one here, one here. Ann and Bill, okay? These are your two personally sponsored coaches. This right here makes you Emerald, okay? So the coolest part about being Emerald is what you're going to do is now you're going to open up your other source of income, okay? So no matter what, when you're an active coach or higher, doesn't matter, you always have the 25% commission, okay? You always get that no matter what. From your customers, whatever they order, you'll always make 25% commission. Okay, cool, we got that part, right? That's simple. 25% commission from your customers, 25% discount on whatever you order from each one. Simple. Now we're gonna talk about the cycle bonus, okay? The cycle bonus you can't participate in until you become an Emerald coach. So once you become Emerald, you can start doing the cycle bonus. And this is how the cycle bonus works, okay? It's all based on team volume, team volume. 200, 100. What that means is whenever you get 200 volume in one leg, 100 in the other, it doesn't matter which way it goes. 200 in one, 100 in the other, doesn't matter which way. You earn what's called a cycle bonus. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw an example, and show you how it works, and if you have questions, let me know as we go, okay? This is where that PVTV thing's gonna happen. So Coach A, I'm gonna say Coach A has their own personal Shakeology order, right, to be active. That's worth 90 points. We talked about that before, right? 90 points. We're also gonna say A has two customers, also part of A's personal value, right? Two customers, also on Shakeology, 90 and 90. So far, so good? All right, so all of this right here, these three 90s, that's A's personal volume. And remember what I said before, a's personal volume is your team volume it's just a wording difference that's it okay this is your team volume so this what is it 9 18 27 270 is going to come up on this side okay i just added the 90s together so far so good okay good bill he's got his own shake order and we're going to say bill's got four shake customers too they're all, so these are all 90s over here. 
Okay. Okay. So now this is 450 volume over here. I just added up the 90s. So what what I like to tell pe people to picture because I like this analogy a little bit is picture you have like two little banks, right? One's over here, one's over here. These are completely separate banks, okay? This one collects all the volume on this side, this one collects all the volume on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the volume and put it into your banks, okay? So we have 270 over here, and we have 450 over here, right? I just brought the numbers down. So now I told you the magic happens at 200, 100. So this is what's gonna happen. This is all automatic, okay? You can see it in your back, your coach online office if you want to. But Beachbody does this for you automatically, okay? So 200, 100, this is what's going to happen. They're going to take 200 out of this side, 100 out of this side. 250, 170. There is one cycle bonus right there. Okay, 200, 100. Now they look at it again, and they're like, okay, can we do 200, 100 again? What do you guys think? Can I take 200 out of one side and 100 out of another? Well, no. No? Yes, you can on the right. Yeah, okay, yes, you can. So 200 out of this side, 100 out of this side, leaves you with 50 and 70. Damn it, I was muted. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's it. So as long as you have 200 in one side and 100 in another, it doesn't matter which side it is. Just 200 needs to be able to be taken out of one side and 100 out of another, okay? That's, that's cycle number two. Kevin, uh, now the rest of that does, that, does that carry over or does that get erased? Boom. 70 and 50 sits up in your banks and it waits. And it waits for more orders to come through. So if all of a sudden A signs another person up for Shakeology, another 90 is going to go to this bank. So then you'd have 160 and 50. You can't do anything with that yet because you don't have 200, 100. You're close, but you're not there yet. Okay? So it just waits. Because remember, think about this. This is all monthly orders. So if A is getting Shakeology every month, at some point during the course of the month, you're going to get 90 volume points into your bank. It all just depends whenever the order goes out. Maybe they get their order on the 14th. Maybe this customer gets their order on the 18th. You know, maybe this customer is on the 30th. Whenever that order goes out, the volume goes to your bank. If you have 200 and 100, you get a cycle bonus. Does that make sense? So remember, this is important, and this is why you never want to go backwards with your rank. Your banks are going to collect the volume as much as possible. So remember when we talked about that strong leg, weak leg thing? The reason that it's called that, this is kind of where the cool part kicks in. I think it's awesome, actually. I don't, you, you can tell me if you like it or not. So if this was the strong leg over here, you know, remember, somebody's helping me build this up, so they're putting all these coaches over here, right? So remember, it doesn't help me with my rank, but everything that these coaches are doing in their business, all of the volume that they're getting, I also cycle off of that. Even though I didn't bring the coaches in, I get all of their volume points and I can earn money off of all of those coaches in my strong leg. So what could potentially happen, I'm not guaranteeing this, but if this leg is being built up a lot faster than your weak leg is, you got to think that there could potentially be like thousands of volume points over here just waiting for 100 points to get into this bank. So every time you hit 100, it takes 200 out, it takes 100 out. And you can just keep accumulating all of these volume points month in and month out. They'll keep continuing to carry over. It'll keep building up. Yep. Gavin, uh, just like, I just want to make sure I get this right. So um, let's say my upline, I mean – that 25% commission, that, I mean, it's going to be 25% commission no matter what. When you say you make points off my my uh, team value, I mean, that cycle bonus, I mean, that's just a 25% commission pretty much, right? No. No? The cycle bonus is different. So the, the way you earn on cycle bonus is different. So I didn't show you the earnings on cycle bonus. So now, in our example here, you get two cycle bonuses, right? Your cycle bonus is based on your rank. We're talking about Emerald rank right now, so I'll show you the three. There's emerald, ruby, and diamond, okay? These are the ranks where your cycle bonus is going to increase at, okay? After you get diamond, your team cycle bonus caps out at that cycle bonus dollar amount. 
even if you're a higher diamond rank. So even if you're like one star, five star, ten star, whatever, you get the same cycle bonus as a diamond gets. All right. This is what fourteen dollars. This is sixteen. This is eighteen. Okay. So as your rank goes up, your team cycle bonus goes up. So in our magic example over here, you made twenty-eight dollars on your two cycle bonuses here. Okay. $28. I always say this. I love it. $28. Doesn't seem like a lot of money, right? It's 28 bucks. whoop de doo But you need to understand the concept and that you just made $28 for pretty much doing absolutely nothing. Okay? You made money off of what Coach A did in their business and Coach B did in his business. Okay? So you didn't necessarily do anything but bring them into the business and help them understand how to earn money within their own business. You doing that, you earn $28 off the business. Now as your business grows and you earn more cycle bonuses, everyone, remember, is at least worth $14. If your rank is higher, you're basically earning two or four more dollars per cycle, which doesn't seem like a lot until you start cycling hundreds of times a month or a week or whatever. Okay? So... That's how the team cycle bonus works. This is how you earn money from your downline business. Like I always tell people, it doesn't look as good right away. Okay, this money is the money that kind of starts out really slow and like builds up, but it becomes the, the biggest amount of money that you make in your business. Commission money you can make and it's like fast money. You know what you're going to get, 25%. Okay, I sold this challenge pack. I made 40 bucks, whatever it is. This money grows over time as your business grows. So if you're growing your business, you're helping your coaches understand how this works, your coaches are building their businesses, this just increases faster and faster and faster. And this becomes like that stable income, you know, the, stable, the, the income everybody's looking for. You want to have that stable income, that income that's always coming in all the time. This is where it's coming from. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. I know it's like a lot to take in. I get it. I understand. Um, but that is how the cycle bonus works. Uh, how much time do I have left? Eight minutes. Okay. That's enough time. So what I want to do is I just want to really quickly show you guys how to get to Ruby and Diamond just so you have an idea. Um, I'm not going to go any further past that right now. If you want to know further past that, let me know and I can draw it up for you. Hello, Melissa. Hi there. I'm out. Um, can you go over, before we move on, can you go over how to set your preferred placement? Sure. Um, I can walk you through it. I'm not, I'm not going to screen share it, but I will tell you how to do it. All right. So there's two ways that you can do it. All right. So if you go under my business, my preferred placement, what I usually tell people to do is to go in there right away, even before you have any coaches and put it on manual instead of automatic. Okay, so there's two little buttons. One says like, I think it's manual, and one says like automatic placement. Put it on manual and save it, okay? There'll be a drop down button in there, or a drop down list. You select the drop down list, you can select left and right. So remember, if you sign a coach up, and you have left selected, they're gonna go into your left leg. Immediately after you sign that coach, change that drop down to right and save it. So the way that this works when you're signing coaches, is it's a little funny and backwards. You have to have the placement set before you sign the coaches up, okay? So it's not like, hey, you signed a coach today, where would you like to place them? It's, hey, you signed a coach today and you have left selected, so that's where I put them, okay? So remember, whatever placement you have set for your coach, your next coach who you don't even know about yet, is already set. When they sign up, that's where they're going. That's important to remember. That's why I tell people, as soon as you sign the first coach, immediately change the placement over so you're guaranteed the next person you sign is going to go on the opposite side and you'll be at Emerald. All right? So the set preferred placement is one way to do it. You can also go into the graphical genealogy view. All right? So if you go into the graphical genealogy view, what you're going to see is you're going to see your little person at the top in hopefully a blue shirt because you're an active coach and not a gray shirt because that's an inactive coach, a blue shirt. Then you're going to see the two lines left and right, okay? 
You might see some coaches in one side, which potentially, which would be your strong leg if you haven't signed any coaches. That's a good way to verify which one's your strong versus your weak. If you already have coaches in one leg, that's your strong leg. Your upline's already helping you build it. What you're going to see is you're going to see like these hollowed out, like these dotted, dotted out lines that look like bowling pins, basically. That's what I tell people, okay? When you click on one of the blue bowling pins, a little window pops up. I don't know all the verbiage in it, but you say, okay, or yes, whatever that option is. What will happen will the, is the blue bowling pin is going to become red. The red bowling pin is where your next coach is going to be placed, okay? I personally like to use the graphical view because I know exactly where my coaches are going. All right. So either one, it's up to you. Both work. So if I go to, uh, I'm, I'm at the graphical uh, genealogy uh, view right now. So if I go to the blue bowling ball and I click on it, it, say, it says the user has been selected for preferred placement. Would yep. you like to see the change? I say okay. Yep. And they both turn. They're both red now. What's both red? The bowling ball. The bowling pins. There should only be one red bowling pin. Well, well, that, okay. That, there's one now, but like for some reason when I click on the the, the blue one, it turns red. And then that message, the message pops up and says, the user has been selected for preferred placement. So all, like you're, to... all you're doing is every time you click on a different one, you're just selecting a different spot for the new coach to go. Oh, okay. So I'll just hit okay. Yes, yeah, so whichever the single red bowling pin outline is, that's right. where your coach is going to go. So remember, we... what's up? Sometimes we call them little Fisher Price dudes. They look like the old school Fisher Price people, you know? Yeah. Like good... Yeah. Just. Yeah, like that. that's good too. So remember in the graphical genealogy, it's very important to remember that you're still building that outside V. Think of the upside down V. You're building the outsides. So even in your strong leg, you're going to see these coaches along the left side. You will also see their inside leg. Don't place any coaches in their inside leg. Build the outside because the, I, the reason is, is you can put coaches wherever you want, ideally, but the reason you're putting them on the outside all the way at the bottom is because you're going to help your coaches build that leg. If you put it on somebody's inside leg, the only person you're helping is that one coach because nobody else benefits from it. If you put that coach all the way down here, like we're saying, now this coach benefits from it, this coach benefits from it, this coach benefits from it, and then you benefit from it. Okay? Did you guys kind of see that? I was drawing like weird arrows. I don't know if you caught it all. Now, if you put a coach right here, the only per people that benefit from it is this guy and you. That's it. That's why you place them all the way down at the bottom because you're helping your team all build their business by placing that coach all the way down at the bottom of the strong leg. Okay. So that's how you do the preferred placement thing. So if you don't know how to do that or it's confusing, you know, let us know. The only reason I don't want to do a screen share and show you exactly how to do it is because It'll mess up our recording. So I can do like a Zoom chat with you afterwards and show you how to do the, you know, the graphical genealogy placement. It's pretty straightforward. Just remember when you're placing it. And actually when you go into your, this is even a better thing to, to do. When you go into the graphical genealogy view, there's two little links like right above your person's head on the left and the right. And it says go to the bottom left, go to the bottom right. If you click on that, it's going to bring you right to the spot where you need to click on the blue bowling pin basically. So if you click on go to the bottom left, click on the furthest open bowling pin to the left and set placement there if you want to place in your left leg. If you click go to bottom right, select the bowling pin in the furthest right position, and that's where you want to place coaches if you want to put them on your right side. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. So like I said, if you have any other questions on that, let me know and we can do separate Zoom chat and talk about it. Real quick, in the next 40 seconds, I'm going to like burn through this, but I'm going to show you what Ruby and Diamond look like. Real quick, if we get cut off, I'm sorry. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you Ruby first because uh, Ruby is on the way to Diamond. This is what it looks like. Remember, every one of – this PS means personally sponsored. It means coaches that you brought into the business, okay? So you're going to bring in four coaches. You're going to put two in the right and two in the left, okay? Now, this is the key. Either this one here or this one here has to be an Emerald coach. So basically, one of your personally sponsored coaches signs two of their own coaches. 
Same thing on the other side. This one or this one has to be an Emerald coach. Okay, so your coaches that you brought in are building their businesses. They brought in two of their own coaches and now they're Emerald. So this or this and this or this has to be Emerald. Cool? Diamond is similar, except that you bring in eight coaches. Four in the left and four in the right. You still only need one Emerald coach in each leg. So this one or this one or this one or this one and this one or this one or this one or this one has to be Emerald. Then you're a diamond. That's it. That's simple. Okay? And that's all I got for you guys. So thanks for showing up. Enjoy your night. I'll post the call in a little bit.